Good day to all Animal Crossing fans. Today I'm gonna show you an updated guide on how to get and play Animal Crossing New Horizons into your PC. So what you need is to have all of these files here that I have in my desktop and that you will need to install the latest build of Ujinx Emulator. So for those who do not know, uh, and new, now Ujinx Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC. So this is how Ujinx Emulator looks like. And these are the files that you need to be installed so that your Ujinx emulator can play Nintendo Switch games. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ujinx emulator first. Okay, so open a web browser here and just type in Ujinx emulator and hit search. The official site of Ujinx emulator is Ujinx.org. Click on that and then go, go to download tab here. And if you're using Mac, system, then your Mac OS should be in Mac OS 11 and later version in order for you to run Ujinx Emulator. And for Linux, you can just download the version from Linux here. And for Windows, you just have to download the version here. So I'm currently using the latest build of Windows 11 22H2 version, and there's no issues running Ujinx Emulator in my PC. And I'm just going to skip the download and installation process for Ujinx Emulator because that is really easy to do and anyone can do that. And I'm going to assume now that you have already installed the latest build of Ujinx Emulator. So if this is your first installation, then boot up uh, boot up and run Ujinx Emulator. And then you'll be met with an error saying that you will need some certain files installed into your Ujinx Emulator. And those are, uh, these are the files that you need to install in your Ujinx Emulator. So what are these files? Uh, these files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware should be in version 15 because this is the latest version as of as of recording this tutorial and you should have animal crossing new horizon in xei file format in order for you to run this game into your ujinx emulator so if you're asking me where you can get all of these files here um legally speaking you can only get these files if you own a nintendo switch console which is modded and has a custom firmware installed in it because if it has a custom firmware installed in it it means that you can access your nintendo switch system files and once you have access on that then you can just copy uh the keys and firmware files into your pc in order to get animal crossing new horizons you should own the game and have bought it and have a physical copy of that game and just digitally back it up into an xei file format so uh if you don't own a switch or if you have a switch but don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware into your switch then i'm just gonna save you that hassle and teach you where to get all of these files in order to get all of these files i'm just gonna leave a qr code here wherein you'll scan it with your qr code reader into your mobile phone and then you will be redirected to the download page wherein you can get all of these files so be sure to use your QR code reader and then you'll be redirected to approms.com and once you are in the website, just go into the middle part of the page wherein you will get the XCI file format of the game and hover down onto the website below so that you will get the Nintendo Switch keys and firmware. Okay, so be sure to check the entirety of the website in order for you to get all of these files. So I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded all those files and that you have a copy of it into your PC now, just like mine here. I have them in the desktop. So what's the next step? Now let's go back to your Ujinx and then it's time to install them. To do that, just go to File. Go to open regions folder and then go to system folder and then open the keys file here and then just drag and drop these files copy and paste into that folder this folder should be empty if this is your first installation so i'm just gonna close in this now and then the next step is to install the firmware here to do that just go to back to your regions go to tools go to install firmware install a firmware from xei or zip file like that then choose on that firmware version. And it will say install the firmware, then yes, and it will say successfully installed. Now your Ujinx emulator is now fully capable to boot up a Nintendo Switch games. You will know that it is successful because it will show the game icons for that game. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, game here are the game icons that I'm saying. So I have here Animal Crossing New Horizon here, and it runs well. And it's now time to optimize your Ujinx emulator in order for it to run Nintendo Switch games with no issues at all. To do this, just go to Options, go to Settings, and in this part, just pause the video and copy my settings from here on out. So be sure to copy everything in order for it to work, okay? Now, for the game directories is where you'll put your game. 
And your Nintendo Switch game should be in XEI file format or NSB file format because that is the only format that Ryujin will uh, be able to detect and boot up. So go to input. Uh, it's better to use a controller rather than a keyboard and mouse because it's really hard to control the game with that. So to configure this, just go to player one and go to configure. And then your Nintendo Switch Pro controller or your any controller here, controller here that will be detected if you have connected it into your uh, USB port, then hit save. Then go to system. So just pause the menu here and just copy everything. Now go to the graphics tab and this is the most important part of the setting. So graphics back in multi threading should be on, graphics back in, API should be Vulkan, the preferred GPU should be your a dedicated graphics card. Mine is an RTX 2070 Super. And in the enhancements, just enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale should be in two times resolution so that the game will look sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution for the Nintendo Switch. But if your PC cannot handle that, then just go and use the native resolution. But for me, I'm gonna be using the two times resolution. And isotropic filtering should be auto and aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And hit apply and save. Now your Ryujinx emulator is now fully capable of playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. And a little bit of disclaimer, I'm not going to show you guys a gameplay of Animal Crossing New Horizons because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content, especially if this is a Nintendo Switch emulation for the PC. So to save myself from the hassle of my channel being taken down and my videos being taken down, I'm not going to show you this. And I hope you guys do understand on that. But in this video tutorial, I'm willing to show a little bit of boot up of Animal Crossing in the game. And I'm just going to blur things out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any copyright strike issues with their game, okay? So again, I hope you guys do understand that. I'm running Animal Crossing New Horizons now, real time, uh, with no speed up or anything like that. Just to show you guys that the game is perfectly running well. And this game will run um, 30 FPS smooth or 60 FPS with mods, okay? So as you can see here, it's now loading up and it's running quite well. So I'm just gonna pause the emulation now. So as you can see, Animal Crossing New Horizons will run smoothly in your PC if you followed all the steps that I have shown you in this video trail. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Animal Crossing New Horizons into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Please do subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye for now.